Good morning, good evening, good night. My name is Sergey, and I coincidentally play the drums. Forgive me for talking a little bit quietly today. Um, my roommate is sleeping, and it is about noon. So, I definitely have to get this video done, because I work at 1. For those of you who are new to what's going on, Slipknot just came back with a new drummer, and it was widely speculated to be the powerhouse of a powerhouse, Eloy Casagrande. Well, it's true, it is Eloy. They did some like tattoo, like tattoo matching with the guy, and some dude on Reddit did some like coding or whatnot to figure out that it was actually Eloy. Uh, it, it's weird. But when I was back at uh, a couple months ago, when I was in LA for the Tama Drums party, Eloy was there, and he was a pretty good guy, pretty cool guy to meet. Pretty. I don't. I wish I took a picture with him, but I didn't, and that's okay. But anyway, enough of me talking about how crazy Eloy is. Let's just see together how crazy Eloy is with Slipknot. Oh, there's Tortilla. We come to you live! From the middle of fucking nowhere! I wish, I wish I was there, but I wasn't. On a very, very, very special fucking night. I'm looking, that's a Charvel that Jim's using right now. Uh, let's see, is that a Warwick that V-Man's playing? Then I'm thinking that's an Ibanez that Mick's playing. I'm a drummer, I shouldn't know any of this, but I do. Because tonight, it doesn't matter. Forgive me, it's a Jackson that mix playing. My bad. Where you came from, it doesn't matter when you were born. This year is 19 fucking 99 right here. But it's not. We are gonna play you some songs from beyond that year. But God damn it, it all started in 99, and it is starting again. It is starting, starting, starting. And here tonight. So you ready to fucking go crazy with us right now? No. Mr. Seven! Oh. oh. Okay, I, I just stopped it. Um, it feels slower than what Jay used to play. Cause I've seen Slipknot with Jay thousands of times it feels like. I'm, I'm thinking, but I'm not sure. Maybe he's playing to a click. It's possible, I sure, maybe. Cause it feels heavier now than it did before. Um, it feels a little slower, but that's not a big issue. I mean, Jay was, I don't think he was playing to a click or anything, but this feels heavy as fuck, but in a good way. So for a lot of the feels, like, like there, it's, it feels very ghost notey, you know, there's, it's not as, you know, it's like, like, you know what I mean? It, it feels very ghost note, so he's doing a lot of dynamic work, which is, it's pretty cool. I just don't know if it fits, but at the same time, I, I, who am I to judge? I'm just some dude sitting in a chair.
Yeah. So smooth. I'm just thinking, how old is Jim Rude? It feels different. They're definitely playing to a click, I think. Like the tempo sounds very consistent and very static. It feels like they're trying a little hard to like, to headbang. But maybe not, maybe not. That doesn't take any way, anything away from Eloy. Because he's killing it. Alright, that, that steady kick drum right there kind of is a way to bring up the energy a little bit. Uh, so he was going, uh, before he was going boom, ah, boom, ah, boom, ah, boom, ah, boom, ah. So keeping that groove, that's just like the normal chorus groove. But when he's adding that constant kick in there, boom, ah, boom, ah, boom, ah, da, da, do, da. Like it's trying to like build the speed up a little bit. It's trying to make everything seem a little bit more in your face you know trying to build up the energy to get the crowd going a little bit more I do that sometimes in my jazz music just for fun Sh for shits and giggles so clean those so it's so what he's doing there is he's going one two three four one two one two three four one two one two three four one two one two three four one two. That's okay. Here are my drumsticks. I've got them. So it's what he's doing there is very very clean. What he's doing is four in the hands, two in the feet, which is something a lot of metal drummers do nowadays. Um, Portnoy is is quite known for it. It's a ba 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 bo bo ba 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 bo bo ba 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 bo bo. But it's going. Some weird. It, I can't do it fast right now because I don't have my practice pad, and that's embarrassing because I should have my practice pad here, but I don't. Okay. Anyway, let's finish this video. Yeah. I 
Okay, that was beautiful. I didn't mention it, but Corey sounds fucking sick, dude. Like, he is definitely... Oh, my God. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. At least that's what I have to say. It's beautiful. Anyway... I would like to say that Eloy is doing a very good job so far in the band. Obviously, he's only been there for like, what? Two shows? But still, it's two shows too good. I like what Eloy is doing. He's very consistent with time. He's very consistent with his fills. They're very clean. They're very kind of to the grid, but also at the same time, not really. Um, he's very good with doing accents. Um, I, I noticed his dynamic range along the kit is so good. So I can't wait to see what they do next. Because um, I know they're going on tour this this fall sometime. September, I think. For the 20th anniversary tour. You'll see me there. Somewhere. Somewhere on one of those many dates of shows. But at the end of the day, Slipknot is still kicking, still moving. And Eloy was definitely the right choice to fill in. However, it would have been funny to see Mike Mangini do this. <laughs> well, I can't imagine. Oh, God. Okay. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Have a great, fantastic rest of your day. And I am going to go to work. All right. Bye-bye.